Hello everybody. All right, after last week's oh my gosh, there's nothing happening, let's get into the oh my gosh, am I going to have any days this week where I don't have something happening? Because that's literally how my life is. Um, so this week I am using the Smell the Roses foil kit from Adorably Amy. This was a kit she did in January, I believe, as an exclusive. So I, I got the a la carte glitter headers because they're so cute. They have like purple polka dot foil. It's adorable. Um, so here is the kit page one, which is the full boxes. The washi, which is kit page two. Page three, which has got headers, meals, a couple of habit trackers, some checklists, and some other good stuff. Um, all the boxes, yay. The, what, well, rose checklists in this case with some bill dues. And then the little things and some headers and some other goodies. So we're just gonna get straight into it because this one is going to take a while. Um, so this is an older kit of Amy's. I think now she has changed the bottom washi so that it um, is like cut exactly to the length of these boxes and then you, like, you get an extra piece that you can put there if you want to. Um, but this is an older kit, so this is from before she did that. So it still has the full washi strip, which I'm fine with. Yeah, I was kind of team do whatever works <laughs> when she was making that decision. Um, so I didn't really have a strong preference one way or the other. Um, but I understand like why she did that and I can't wait to get a kit that has that washi cut that way to try it out. Wow, I like cannot get this straight today to save my life. Can we like maybe, like, I don't want to rip it up if I get it wrong because foil. <laughs> um, okay, good enough, whatever. Um, anyway, so it is a little different um, than most of the kits you see, but I like it. It's pretty. Okay, so I'm going to use the Stop and Smell the Roses quote box because goodness knows this week I'm going to need to remember that. Um, so in case you're wondering why my life is suddenly going cuckoo bananas during this particular week, it's because I'm going from being on spring break and having nothing to do to show week. Or no, this isn't show week, sorry. Tech rehearsal week. We're not to show week yet. No, no, no. <laughs> we will get there very soon. And it's a little terrifying. But yeah, so I'm going from spring break week into tech rehearsal week and then show week. Um, so for those of you who may not have seen earlier videos of mine, um, I'm a middle school drama teacher. Yes, I'm a little nuts, you know. All the best people are. Um, but yeah, so I teach middle school and I teach theater, which like either of those alone lends itself to insanity but you put the two together and it's just chaos constantly. But I do love it. I love my kids. They're hilarious. Um, and honestly, like, I wouldn't trade them. Well, some days I want to trade them to the circus. But <laughs> most of the time I wouldn't trade them. <laughs> You can tell, like, it has been a crazy day if I'm making jokes about selling my students to the circus. <laughs> I would never actually do that. I promise. But yeah, it was just, whew. I had a couple. I... Today, I wondered how they ever got anything accomplished. Like, on any days besides not even just today. Like, how? why what like it just it... 
I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand some of these kids, y'all. I love them, but I just don't understand them. Okay. Um. I don't really have like a good thing to put in that space. So I think I'm just gonna fill in with some washi and hope for the best. And if this lines up perfectly, y'all, like I think it's about to, I'm going to be so excited. It's not going to. I'm wrong. It's going to be off. Yep, got little extra space. So we're just going to use one of these fancy little curly cute doodads because there are no lines. Just to fill the gap. A little bit. There we go. Okay. Cool. That didn't take very long. Alright, moving on to headers. And all that good stuff. If I can figure out where... Okay. So, I've got a set of foil headers. And then my glitter headers. So, what do I want to do? I know I want to use the foil headers. I think just because of the madness that this week is going to be. I'm just going to do the same thing I did last week, which is straight across the top for the cute boxes and straight across the bottom for my to-do list and slap the little things in the middle. I think I want to do the foil, like solid purple foil headers for the to-do list because I like them. They're pretty. I don't know. We'll see. I may regret that. Or maybe I want to do glitter and use the solid purple as like... Mm, yeah. I'm changing my mind already. Make sure I have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Redo. So, I'm going to save the foil. I have plans. Um, and just use the glitter instead. Oh my goodness, I just realized I forgot to put something on last week. I'm literally filming these videos back to back, in case you haven't figured that out already. <laughs> um, I'm filming them back to back simply because timing. Having to have time to get everything edited and uploaded, because y'all, it takes like six hours to upload a video. It's so long and so annoying. Um, but I forgot on last week to put my UNB debut um, because the winning group from the unit is debuting and I'm very excited about that like I know a lot of people will be like really you care about that but it's kind of a big deal to me like I'm not gonna lie I basically only watched the unit for ace um, so there were two members of a group called Ace who made the unit. Ace is a rookie group that um, they just had their 300 days, so they will be getting one year in May. And they sent two of their members on the unit and three on Mix 9, which was a similar show. And so of the five members, um, two guys from Mix 9 made the final team, but, you know, YG is being YG and delaying their debut. Um, but one of the two who went on the unit made the final team. And so, like, I've been just really excited ever since I saw the finale. Um, because, like, with the unit, like, they never really let them, like, fall off the radar after they announced the winners. Like... With Mix 9, like, a lot of the groups just kind of, or, like, the whole group just kind of disappeared. Um, which was kind of weird. Like, they did a couple of things the first couple of days, and then they were just, like, gone. And, you know, there's talk that, like, YG is waiting to debut them because he's giving one of his actual groups a comeback, and there's just a bunch of stuff. 
the, it, if you're not into K-pop, like you wouldn't know any of this, but YG is like a big three company. And it's not known for being the nicest. Um, there are a lot of like well-known issues with that company. There are a lot of well-known issues with a lot of the companies, really. Um, but YG is just seen as particularly bad because of some of the things that happen, like <clears throat> trainees go in and never leave and never debut. That's a very common thing. So like you almost always see people who have trained with JYP or SM, which are the other two big three companies. Um, like you'll see tons of people who train with those two companies at other companies debuting. You almost never see anyone leave YG once they get there. And they don't debut very many groups. Like they don't have much in terms of lineup right now. Like, and they keep losing groups as well or like losing members of groups and stuff. So it's a weird situation. Anyway, so Lord only knows what's going on with the Mix 9 group. Um, but Unit is debuting on the 7th of April. It is official. By the time you guys see this, they will have debuted. Um, so I intended to put something in for that because I have been waiting for that to happen and I'm super, super excited about it. Um, so but I actually do have a debut to put in this week as well because there's another group that somebody found. I don't even remember who at this point and posted on Facebook and I saw it. And just like for weird reasons, I'm like, okay, I have to go check them out. So I want to mark their debut as well. And they're called Noir. And okay, so I'll explain the reasoning. <laughs> there's this whole joke kind of going around right now about how many guys there are in K-pop named Minhyuk. Like, it's ridiculous how many of them there are. And so there's this really funny fan fiction called I Promise This Isn't a Cult. And the basic premise of the story is that um, somehow one of the older Minhyuks gets Rocky from Astro's phone number and adds him to this giant group chat of all the men hooks plus men hewn from newest. I'm still like not quite 100% certain why men hewn is there, but he's there <laughs> and it's funny. So, you know, you just go with it. Um, and so it's just like literally the weirdest stuff happens in the story. Like there's this one like chapter where, um, wait, no, that's not the one where somebody steals a rainbow. <laughs> that's something else. Um, yes, there's a story that I'm reading where somebody steals a Roomba. I read strange things. Um, there's one chapter where Rocky and somebody else are house sitting for one of the older men hooks who has cats. Or maybe they're house sitting for Minhyun. I don't know. I think Minhyun has cats. Anyway, one of them has cats. Rocky is helping house sit. And like he has this like really weird dream. And like the cats are like talking to him. And it's just, it's strange. But it's funny. And I kind of love it. So, anyway. Because of that, I saw there was another Minhyuk in this new group. And so like now I kind of have to like check them out and just kind of see like what's going on with them um, just because it's entertaining to me that there is going to be another Minhyuk and the girl who's writing the story like I sent her a message and I was like look this is happening I thought you would want to know and she was like oh my gosh this is great I can't wait <laughs> so <laughs> especially since like one of the jokes is that when they all go to music shows, they weird things happen and Monster X, which is one of the groups that has a men hook, is going to be promoting at the same time as this new group. And so I'm just interested to see what she's gonna do with that information. 
Um, so I don't know. We will see what happens. But I do want to mark their debut, and then I'm going to go back and mark UNB's debut. Um, you know what? I'm going to use the movie marquee for the debuts. I like that idea. So that is like really freaking massive. Wow. That's really big. <laughs> I hope nothing else big happens on Monday. I don't have anything on Monday yet, so I should be okay to give them a massive... <laughs> oh goodness, y'all. Okay, so that's happening on Monday. On Tuesday, I have my usual usual Tuesday meeting day. And that's Steam Committee, yay. You can tell how excited I am, can't you? Okay, I'm gonna use these fun boxes for my rehearsals. Because, like I said, it's tech week. So, I have after school rehearsal. I'm going to use the purple ones because I like purple. Purple makes me happy. So, purple will make me less salty about the fact that I'm going to be at school until probably at least 6 because I always have a parent who doesn't arrive until 6 to pick up their kid. Never fails. Never fails. Oh, wait. I don't want to use that color box because I'm already using that color. So, sorry. Too many things going on. Um, oh, do I want to use that? No, oh, I don't want to use that. Erg. I'm going to use a floral box for the late start. Sorry, y'all. I didn't want to put, like, the solid gray quarter box right next to the wood box. Okay, so all that's going on. And we have a Friday the 13th. And Friday the 13th is my brother-in-law's birthday. <laughs> it's like, oh boy. It's going to be an interesting day. Like, I totally didn't even think about the fact that it's Friday the 13th until I said that. Oh, that's Saturday. Really, um, oh gosh, I also forgot that we have a first Thursday, and I'm going to have a video to post that on, on last week. Well, I'm just not all here. Okay, so he gets a cupcake for his birthday, and that's going to be the extent of that. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to put Sunday fun day this week. I do, however, need to put payday, because... At least, if it has to be a Friday the 13th, it's a payday because we get paid the 15th of the month, but if the 15th falls on a weekend, we get paid early because my district is awesome like that. Okay, um, so yeah, like, is that everything? I think that's everything. I do, however, think I am going to do some deco because I've got more and it's pretty. So I think I'm going to put this like down here because I don't want to cut deco on this one because I cut enough deco on the last one. Oh my gosh, y'all, I hate cutting deco off the corners of pages. It's so annoying. <laughs> Ugh. Like, it's just... Ugh, I don't like doing it. I didn't think about it when I, like, set up the last page. Oh, that barely fits, but it fits. Um, I didn't think about that back when I was setting up. That's not going to fit up there. So that's going to go there. Because I'm not cutting deco this week. Okay, I think that's everything I need other than film, edit, upload. I think I'm just going to write those in the boxes and then use these quarter boxes that I picked up and didn't use before for my video and my chapter going live. And that's going to be what I do. Okay, sweet. 
So yeah, that's like everything. That's two in a row that I've done really, really quickly, surprisingly. Um, so let me see if I can get, how's that even in frame? Good grief. All right, so there we go. That is my week overview. So I still have to write things in, of course. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Actually, no, scratch that. I'm gonna be back once I've filmed it in. So of course I've got my two habit trackers, like always. I'm not tracking writing this week because I'm just giving myself permission this week and next week to not write. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have time. It's tech week and show week. There's just, there's too much going on. Um, so Monday I have another Rookie Idol group debuting. Last week it was UNB, which is from the unit. This week it's a group called Noir. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to like them or not. I'm just kind of checking them out to see um, because they do have a member who shares a name with a member of a group called Astro, except the member of the Astro actually goes by Rocky instead of Minhyuk. Um, but like they literally have the exact same name and it's kind of funny. Not quite as funny as the fact that there are three Lee Minhyuks. There's B-Bomb, Minhyuk of Monster X, and Minhyuk of B2B. All of them have the exact same name. Not even kidding. Um, so Tuesday, I of course have my regular after school committee meeting. Wednesday is late start and tech rehearsal. Thursday is tech rehearsal. Friday is payday and my brother-in-law's birthday. Saturday, I have a chapter going live and Sunday, I have a video going live and a bill due. <laughs> busy, busy, crazy week. Um, very different from last week, which you guys can see is still blank, because as I said, I filmed these videos back to back. Um, but yeah, and next week's going to be just as bad, if not worse. But then I kind of get a break. Sort of. Like, I still have to finish the semester, but I have no more shows other than I have to house manage one night for District Musical. And then it's like testing. But uh, chances of me having to proctor this year are pretty low because I think I proctored every single day last year. So yeah, that was fun. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!